Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and we're going to do a beer review today. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say Merry Christmas uh, to all you out there, all my subs and friends and family. And uh, Merry Christmas 2019. Um, I thought I'd do a beer review today. I was coming back and all the stores were closed. All the grocery stores are closed. All the usual uh, Total Wine More, all those places are all closed. And there's this lone little liquor store open over there on the corner. So I ran out of beer. So I thought I'd swing in and see if they uh, had anything decent. And uh, I'll be damned. They didn't have Sierra Nevada Narwhal. Um, I've never had this beer before. I've heard a lot of great things about it. Um, yeah. So I was like, okay, this, I got lucky. So I picked up a six pack of that for like 12 bucks. And uh, this is the 2019 Narwhal Imperial Stout by Sierra Nevada. And uh, they're out of Chico, California. <clears throat> this beer comes in at 10.2% alcohol by volume. And if the package date is 10-24-19, and you know the date is, today is 12-25. So it's about a, a month and a day old. But being a stout, that you could sell her this but I'd like to try it fresh for the first time because I want to get all the notes that it's supposed to have if there's like coffee notes or something in there I'd like to get those too okay so uh, says <clears throat> inspired by the mysterious creature that dwells in the deepest Arctic seas narwhal imperial stout is midnight black and bold with notes of Baker's cocoa and dark roasted coffee this massive imperial stout is incredibly complex and explores the darkest depths of malt flavor. Well, I am. This uh, is pretty much making my Christmas right here. Coming, stumbling across this beer. I've been wanting to try this for um, a couple of few years now. I just didn't make it happen, but looks like we made it happen today. So I'm pretty stoked, actually. Let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. That's what the cap looks like. I do like Sierra Nevada. They make really awesome beers and very well priced. Sorry, you can hear the kids outside uh, playing with their new toys. So if you hear some background noise, it's kids outside enjoying their Christmas and all their family and toys and everything. So last train home. All right, here we go. Narwhal, finally. You know, if you're um, with family or not, you maybe can, you know, get to where you can be around family. It's always good to make it your, your own Christmas if you're not able to be around family or whatever the reason you had to work or something. But still try to make yourself your own happy little Christmas if that's the case. Okay? Because I do that sometimes too. There's, there's years where I can't be around family or, or friends and I have to make my own happy Christmas so if that's the case Merry Christmas all right so we have a monster kind of light brown head and um, yeah it's black motor oil black there's no light whatsoever yeah this is extremely dark oh yeah yeah, finally, I, I forgot all about this one. Um, I just happened to go to the liquor store there, and I saw it, and I was like, blam, there we go. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to myself. <clears throat> and whoever else is watching. All right. <clears throat> Let's get an aroma on this puppy. Oh, yeah, right up front, big-time cocoa notes. Yeah, milk chocolate, roasted malts. There's big bubbles popping all over the top there. Looks really thick. Real foamy, creamy. Uh, not no so much foamy, but like uh, frothy, creamy, silky looking head. Bunch of bubbles in the middle popping up. Yeah, we're getting cocoa. 
some milk chocolate. Getting the coffee notes. Whew, smells good. Getting like a, a charred note and maybe like a smokiness in there, like a, a, a charred malt. Maybe a touch of some dark fruits. Smells delicious. I think I'm picking up a little bit of black licorice as well. That's pretty much what I got. Let's get a hit. Merry Christmas. Cheers. Oh boy. Yes. That is tasty. <clears throat> Taste follows the aroma. Let's get another hit. Cheers. Mm, that is excellent. That's an excellent Imperial Stout. I don't think it's a Russian, it's just a, so it'd be an American Imperial Stout Narwhal. Neat looking label. Right, I did let this warm up just a little bit because I know stouts, sometimes the, the, the taste and aromas will really um, change as they warm up. Let's try it again, see if we can pick up something else. Cheers. Maybe like brown sugar, molasses also. Okay, there definitely is some hot bitterness in there as well. Balancing out all them sweet malts and roasted malts. But it's just like a general bitterness. Like there's nothing defining about it. But those cocoa notes are definitely coming through in the coffee, like they said on the label. Those are the main ones. It's got a medium to heavy mouthfeel. Really good. Even nice lacing on the glass. Good head retention. I was getting kind of bummed I, was, I wasn't going to have anything decent to drink on Christmas, but I uh, got lucky. Cheers. Yeah, it's just like cocoa, like mocha, cocoa, and like coffee, and just roasted malts. It's so um, silky. The mouth feels very silky, creamy. Yeah, there's definitely some hops in there. A little bit of bitterness on, on the sip going all the way through. It just coats the mouth. This this uh, the malt that's in here coats the mouth. Yeah, those uh, baker's chocolate is definitely what it tastes like. See, I'm picking up something else there. Almost like a leather note. It's really, this is a really great stout. Cheers. Yep, like a leather note. Very subtle though. Um, one more time. We're still picking stuff up here. Cheers. like that's pretty much what I got um, the alcohol is very well hidden for 
10 point, what was it, 10.1%? Uh, 10.2%. The there's no raw alcohol notes or nothing. It's very well constructed beer. Uh, this is an awesome beer for 12 bucks for a six pack. That's for sure. It's well worth it. Really good grab on my part. Let's do a swill one more time. We'll wrap it up. Cheers. All right, I just picked up something else. Hang on. Nope, just kidding. All right, um, that's pretty much what I got on this beer. Um, on a scale of one to five stars, um, man, it's not the best stout I've ever had, but it's up there. It definitely probably in the top five maybe so with that said i'm going to give um, the sierra nevada narwhal imperial stout uh 4.7 this is a really good stout 4.7 that's my story and i'm sticking with it and i'll have the description of the beer at the bottom of the video in the description section please uh like and subscribe and uh merry christmas and if I don't, if you don't see me or whatever, uh, happy new year and y'all take it easy. Peace out.